Brooklyn Fashion Academy is a 16-week intensive for aspiring Brooklyn designers. They participate in a series of classes while all creating many collections to be showcased at our culminating fashion show. Every year we really try to add a cultural component or something that makes the academy different. And this year I was really looking for something technology based. The integration of technology into fashion is something that's kind of been on the agenda for quite a while now. It's time now to take it into the reality of how it finds its place in fashion. Fashion is all about expression, right? Uh, and expression can also mean story. The walk, the music, the model, you know, the lights, the colors, the fabric, all that stuff. Once you've kind of nailed that down, uh, then you start talking a lot about the tech. Non-engineers have a skill set that is not typically intersected with tech. They're amazingly skilled at creating garments. The tech is tech. There's, there's a, <laughs> they usually put in one thing, want to change that. So our aim with Make Code is to lower the barrier to entry so that more people can participate in learning how to program. And our mission is really to determine what is possible next. I struggle on the computer sometimes, you know, like technology is definitely not my bag at all. So it's fun to be like, you know, here's my idea, here's my concept. How do we make this work? And they're like, yes, of course, we can do this, and this, and this, and this. And I'm like, I couldn't have even conceptualized that that was a possibility. With the technology, it's been really exciting to see how people have approached it, like what they could do. They could put lights in, there's projections, there's movement happening. The motor's gonna sit, it has to sit on the outside. It has to sit on the outside. And it's gonna rotate like this. Okay. It's gonna be covered in mirrors. Oh, cool. So when the light shines, the mirror hits the light, it should settle. Oh, wow. This, I was like, I'm gonna do something different. To me, it's more freeing. You don't know what it's gonna end up looking like. And I think the beauty is when you don't know, at the end, it turns out to be something that you wouldn't expect. Just the idea of having tools that allow people that are very creative on the fashion side to be able to create the wearable tech that we wanna have in the future is the big goal. We can teach a lot of that now, right now. So for example, I can teach you how to place a sensor on the body. I can show you where to put a battery pack. I can show you how lights work. Eventually, when the technical side catches up, you'll already have that experience as a fashion designer, and then you can actually create something meaningful. Because the uh, Dororo tribe are like such cattle lovers, I wanted to give the illusion of like a cow stampede. I put sensors in my model's leg of the uh, garment, so every time she steps left, the right would light up. If she steps right, the left would light up, and then it'll just alternate with her flow of walking. We've discovered all the silhouettes. We've discovered all of the fabrics that we can use. There's always going to be textile development, but integrating actual technology that can function in the day-to-day -day is, is the next thing.